And you start developing this at this age, I believe you can score a lot of points. This might be the easiest way to get to a front head lock. Okay? For me, underhook, okay, from this position. Now, no matter what, I'll tell you this too. No matter what, if this guy does beat me to head position, very easy to get my head back. All I, like, I do is I roll my head. I roll my head back into position. Okay? I'll roll my head back under, back into position. Now, what I'm going to do to pull this guy into a front headlock, I'm not going to have my hand around his head. I'm going to fight it inside. Okay? So the back of my hand is going to face my face. Understand? Now, what I do um, is I circle to the underhook. I circle to the underhook and I pull him straight down. A lot of us are going to try to pull him into us. I want to pull him straight down and watch the transfer of my hands. As, my, as I circle down, my hand is going to transfer from here to the tricep and chin. Always. Okay? Always get right back to my comfortable position. So I'm inside control. As I pull, I'm here. Now, now, a lot of points are going to be scored here. Again, it's straight hustle. Chin, tricep, always running down the butt. Okay? One more time. To my underhook, where's my hand coming? Inside or outside? Inside. Inside. Good job. Inside. Back of my hands here. I like to grab. Grab as much meat as I can. As I circle down, my hands are going to transfer. That's the important part. I don't want to see anybody do this. This is a common mistake. We try to pull down like this. I'm pulling him down to my attack position. Here. Chin, tricep, always hustling corners. On my toes. Okay? Let's give that a try for a couple minutes. One, two. 